Well, good morning. Back in Valheim, and as you've noticed, Gus has been occasionally missing from the videos. And that's because he has been working on something and he decided we really need it. Now, if you remember from a little while back, there was a mountain. I believe it was in the video where I went to the island with the Draugr and the Fulling Village. It was a very tall mountain and Gus and I climbed it. And it was a very steep mountain. And we got to the top and there was a very small patch of mountaintop. But Gus decided that that was perfect. So he got to work. And finally, we get to see the end result of what he's been working on. So I welcome you to my mini castle on the mountaintop. You can see portal is well, the easiest way to get up here. And if you look, we have a nice clear view of the relatively steep mountain. There is a drake nest over there with the drake guarding it. More steep mountain. And our doorway leading into the basement area. You can see we have decorated with a nice huge hearth. Got an iron cooking station. And of course, you have to have a cauldron. Now, Gus did most of the heavy lifting here. As in, he pretty much built this whole thing. Me? I am the consummate gatherer, so I gathered materials for him. And he, he did some of the decorating, but I did a majority of it. Let's see, we have a little kitchen area because you have to have a place to prepare your foods. We've got a couple of armor stands down here to decorate. 
tucked away back here is storage. And along the wall is storage for all types of food. Along the back is materials, most of which we've been using to build this. Up to the next level. I love the curtains. That little wash area. I really like some of this clutter that that's in the mod packs. And go in here. We have our dining area with dinner already set out. We have some carrot soup, and we have a fondue, and of course a pitcher of ale. A little living room area, I guess you would call it. Although, to be honest, you can't really sit on the bench. For some reason, it bounces. And our troll staring down at us accusingly. And of course, we have our ward here. Which I should probably activate. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> and go out this way, and we actually have a nice wide balcony. Now, the tails of these statues do get in the way a little bit, but they look so nice. And it wraps around three sides. Oh, another drake over there. This uh, mountain has cut quite a few drakes. And there's at least one ruined tower down there, which I've yet to explore. Should be interesting, though. I like these windows. Okay, back inside. Bookcase, because of course, you have to have one of those. Filled with books and other knickknacks. Including some incense, and I believe the incense came from the Distant Dynasties mod pack kind of neat. You can see the smoke rings rising up from it. It's actually blowing puffs of smoke up. I thought that was pretty nifty. Now, these spiral stairs don't work great, but they're functional. Then we come up in here and we have our Hall of Armor. And, well, there is her first set of armor. Back when she was very, very new to Valheim. And then there's the next set. I think this was the set of armor she defeated the first boss in. And then there's her second set. And of course she would have defeated boss two in that. And here is a copy of her current set of armor. Which she has... Wait, did she defeat boss 3 in this? No, I think she defeated boss 3 in that. Okay, so she might have defeated boss 2 and 3 in that armor. And we're almost done upgrading the armor. Still need to upgrade her bow. Which she did get a Draugr bow. And... Well, a couple of minor, other minor weapons. First, go through these curtains here. And we have the bedroom. Really like how this came out. And of course, we have all these curtains here. Keep the warmth in. And it's probably the warmest space in this house. Or castle. And we each have our own beds. This is Gus's bed. This is my bed. No, my bed is right by the fireplace because, as we all know, women do tend to get colder than men. Now, moving up, we come to the next level in which we have a balcony. And it looks like Gus is working on something. Okay, very good. And just when we think he's done. But 
We got our hot tub up here. A nice big bonfire. And everybody say hi to Gus. Now there has been a, something a little bit funny going on with the chat for the game. So I click enter, I'm able to do my typing as normal, click enter, send my message. But when I hit escape, instead of just closing chat, it wants to go to the menu. Which is kind of annoying, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't hurt the game, it doesn't seem. But even better view of the Drake Ness. And still see the drake, and of course, Gus installed ballistas. Looks like they have been working, because these were all full the first time I saw them. Now, well, two of the three are not. Which means they have been busy shooting drakes out of the sky. We will go up to the tower room, and this is the study. Now, my intention was to try to put alchemy up here. I don't think it'll fit, but we did manage to put the map table in here. And we have a nice decorative bookcase. And of course, you can't have a study without a desk for reading and writing. I'm actually very happy with this. I'm very happy indeed. Of course, I'm always happy with the things Gus builds. And we're going to let him finish that off real quick. I don't know what he's up to yet. But yeah. I am always very happy with the stuff he builds. I mean, he did the majority of the building for base two. I mean, I gave him what I wanted and I gave a general idea, even laid out a general idea physically. But from there, he took it and ran. And base one, I had started something to be honest, it wasn't that good. I could probably do better now. Still, he came in and got to work and turned it into what it is. He's very good at this. <laughs> and yes, I do have a little ladder here so I can get up from when I go down to gather stuff. You're freezing. Uh, really? Am I freezing? Fine. I'll take a potion. <laughs> Might as well go grab these. Do I want that head? No, not really. That can stay. But yeah, let's see. Can we get up somewhere where we can get a really good look. Oh, there's another Drake head over there. But yeah, you can see the tower. And don't ask, there's a boat down there. <laughs> oh, there's a Drake over there. You can stay over there. And on this side, well, it's even steeper on this side like almost straight down in some places. And of course we've seen this side. It's pretty steep as you can tell. If you look way off in the distance, I do believe that's the ocean. Very lovely views up here. And this is, as you can see, super steep. 
But there's also a couple more towers on that side. All in all, it's a pretty impressive mountain. And the best part of it is that aside from raids with flying mobs, so bats and drakes, nothing can really get up here. I've had several skeleton surprises and a wolf raid. They can't get up here. They end up getting stuck down there with the drakes and, well, Sometimes they even end up fighting the drakes. Oh, so that's what he was doing. And now we have another ledge. Oh, might still need a little bit of work though. Oh, that's a really nice look at those towers down there. So yeah, this is what Gus has been working on. I'd say it's pretty impressive. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Next week? Well, who knows what we'll be doing next week. But it should be exciting. And until then, bye for now.